So many have asked why it's so important to me, this charity that I'm setting up. And I want to tell you a little story about me and when I was in the depths of my lowest despair. And that was just after my beautiful baby girl was born. I had had a hard pregnancy and she didn't end up in NICU, which was phenomenal. My baby warrior, she was amazing. And despite being so chuffed with myself, suddenly I was the mum of a beautiful baby girl, but also my son was only 20 months old and I really struggled. And I had undiagnosed uh, postnatal depression. And I couldn't go to anyone. The only thing that helped me out of my rut was reflexology. And at the time, we didn't have any money. So something like this, this charity, would have been a lifesaver for those people that can't talk to a doctor. It really will help massively. Um, I was very fortunate and privileged, but I had family that were willing to help me out at that time. But there are so many people that don't have family, that don't have that lifeline, that don't have any extra money that can be helped for their mental well-being. And it was through reflexology, through crystal healing, that I've really learned about myself again and who I am, how I can deal with things in the best way. And this is what this charity will do. This is just one of the many stories. And my story is very much to do with my journey. Becoming a mum, never having ADHD diagnosed, and really struggling with those hormone changes and how impossible life was, how overwhelming it all was. And I love my children beyond anything. I think all of you who know me know that I will go above and beyond to do what I need to do for my kids. But for me, oh, that was a whole different question. And allowing my body to really be forced to rest, allowing my mind to force to quieten, allowed my body to heal. So that meant that that reflexology gave me that time to really figure out and illuminate what I needed to do. That's what I want to give to everyone. I think everyone should be able to access that and that's what I hope this will do. So please, please support me. Please support those people that it's close to their hearts and um, let's get well-being at the top priority for Portsmouth and the surrounding area.